Does Internet Computer get its fair share of coverage? We're going to be taking a look at some examples over at Coindesk. To be fair, I got this idea from some recent videos I saw from Cityscape. Cityscape is a YouTube creator. I'll link their channel down below in the video description. They are also a developer developing a project called Cityscape on Internet Computer. And he has a video here talking about Coindesk owner explains the ICP conspiracy which, by the way, no, it's not the owner of Coindesk coming on record to speak to that. What this is actually about is because this is the owner of Coindesk, this must be why they don't cover Internet Computer. And then he had another video talking about Coindesk, or rather to Coindesk, ICP doesn't exist. Jerry Banfield, another YouTuber that creates a lot of videos on internet computer, he was also kind of inspired to do a similar video to this after watching Cityscape's video talking about Coindesk. Now, Jerry has a different take on it. You can watch his video. I'll link his channel down below. You can watch the videos from Cityscape as you so choose or not. But let's just check out Coindesk's website, right? And if we go up to the search here at the top right and click on the magnifying glass for search. And then in here, if we search for internet computer, we'll see that, you know, here's an article from 2024 talking about price action. Here is an article which is actually, I went through this article. This is actually an article about Definity, which is the foundation behind Internet Computer and the, the development team which built and is continuing to build Internet Computer. But strictly speaking, Internet Computer and Definity are two separate entities. And this article is really about Definity and doesn't really have anything to do with Internet Computer other than the fact that it's about the Definity Foundation who is instrumental in the existence and development of internet computer. And then you'll see there's an article from 2021 talking about internet computer opens Ethereum bridge. There is an article in 2023 talking about liquid Bitcoin for faster, cheaper BTC transactions. And then for some reason, they're talking about Dogecoin and Bitcoin in a search which is supposed to be for internet computer. And then down below here, you'll see that there's an article talking about Definity offering a $220 million in developer grants for ambitious internet computer projects. And if we go down to the second page of results, well, there's not much more to find. You know, they have an article from 2021 talking about the launch of internet computer and... That's about it. And yet, if you search for XRP over at Coindesk, first of all, there's about twice the results and the results seem more relevant because again, 950 results, 956 results for internet computer. Many of the search results are not actually relevant despite it being set to sort by relevancy. And yet there are 1,807 results when searching for XRP. And right off the bat, what does Ripple's stablecoin mean for XRP? Ripple, developer behind XRP Ledger, enters stablecoin fray with Tether and USDC. XRP mark price jumps 20%, price drops 5%. You know, th these are all from 2024. Binance to, to freeze the XRP tokens. You know, here's here's another article covering things going on that impacts XRP. If we go down to the second page of results, article about XRP. That's another article. You know, these are from 2023. We got one, two, three, four articles right off the bat, all actually talking about XRP. Here's yet another article talking about the lawsuit with the SEC. Here is another article talking about XRP. You know, then you go down to the third page and again, XRP, 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 you know, so they're definitely covering XRP over at Coindesk. But, you know, if, if you search for XLM, there's only 212 results for XLM, but at least most of these articles actually do seem to have at least some relevance to XLM, unlike the internet computer search results. And I suspect that there's 956 results when searching for internet computer because the words internet and computer are so 
generic, which is actually one of the things that I'm disappointed with when it comes to internet computer. I really think that they should have came up with something that wasn't so ridiculously generic and so easily lost in search results as a result of that very problem. But, you know, again, we go down to the second page and there's articles talking about Stellar Lumens, which is XLM. So there's definitely more coverage of other cryptos on Coindesk than there are of internet computer. So that's that certainly seems to be true. And so to that end, I can I tend to agree with Cityscape that to Coindesk, internet computer apparently isn't really worth covering, even though there's been newsworthy events, right? So recently, Dominic Williams, he demonstrated not once, but twice on two separate occasions. Recently, a large language model, AI, running 100% on-chain, hosted on internet computer. One would think that that would be worth writing an article about. Yet there is no such article, at least not one easily found at Coindesk. Now, why is that? So again, going back to Cityscape's YouTube channel and borrowing a concept from Cityscape, he puts forth that maybe it has something to do with who owns Coindesk. And in this video, he says that Tom Farley owns Coindesk and Tom Farley is a Wall Street guy. And so that must be why you know, they don't cover more information about internet computer over at Coindesk. Tom Farley didn't buy Coindesk. Bullish bought Coindesk. Tom Farley is the CEO of Bullish. And we see here over at the Bullish website that Tom Farley is listed as the CEO. And if we click read more, we can see that Tom serves as a chief executive officer. However, there's nothing in here saying that Tom owns Bullish. And even in an article put out by Coindesk, it says that Bullish, which is ran by former NYSE president Tom Farley, bought 100% of Coindesk from crypto-focused investor DCG in an all-cash deal. And so it was the cryptocurrency exchange by the name of Bullish that bought Coindesk. And Tom Farley is the CEO of Bullish. So splitting hairs, but as far as I can tell, Tom Farley himself doesn't own Bullish or more to the point, I can't, I haven't been able to find who actually owns Bullish, but I don't see anything saying that Tom Farley owns Bullish. And I don't see anything saying that Tom Farley owns Coindesk. It is that Bullish bought Coindesk and Tom Farley is the CEO of Bullish. And so one of the, the big reasons why I'm making this video, besides just having you know something to create a video about and possibly get some more views, right? That's always part of it when you are a YouTube creator. But really, even more than that, I feel that internet computer isn't covered nearly enough. And since I do have a crypto channel, here on YouTube, why not make some more videos about internet computer, especially after the first video that I created did so well, at least initially, which brings me to something I'd like to share with you. Okay, so here is the YouTube studio for Coinopoly. So this is the back end. And if we scroll down here, we see my first video talking about internet computer, which was published on April 7th. Actually, it was recorded, edited, and published on April 7th. And you'll see that it got over 3000 views. But what you may not know, if you don't follow the channel very closely, is how exactly these views came in and what the behavior was. So when we look at the analytics for this video, you'll see that the video did very well, very early on. You know, the views just climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed. So within the first 24 hours, I had 2,859 views on this video. And then after that, they just teetered off. Now, let me ask you, how do you go from 200 plus views an hour down to something like one or two views an hour within, you know, 24 to 30 hours? Now, this video doesn't have stellar metrics. You know, I only got 85 subscribers, but you need to understand I have less than 450 subscribers now. And I had closer to 300 subscribers when I published this video. So gaining 85 subscribers from this video is actually pretty significant. And yeah, the click-through rate isn't the best, right? It's got a 5.1% click-through rate overall. And you know, 56,000 impressions. But again, when you when you look within the first day, I had 25, 26,000 of those impressions. 
And then, you know, they, they kind of just fell off a cliff and then got a, got a little bit of love. And then they've just been very slowly inching up ever since. And why is that? And if you, if you're thinking, you know, it must be because somebody shared my video on like a Facebook group or a Reddit group or on X or, well, not according to YouTube. According to YouTube, only 0.6% of the traffic to this video has come from outside of YouTube. So you'll see here, Google search 34.8% of the 0.6% of the total traffic. Twitter, 20. 21.7% of the 0.6% of the total overall traffic. So what this is saying is that almost all of the traffic, 99.4% of the traffic to this video was on platform. It was on YouTube. It wasn't videos embedded elsewhere. It wasn't referred from external sites. It was all YouTube. So although as a YouTube creator, it's really easy to say this and even want to believe it to some extent because you don't want to believe that your videos are just so bad that they don't perform better. But given the fact that Internet Computer is a serious competitor and potentially a serious threat to a lot of big tech like YouTube and Amazon and a lot of others, I wouldn't be surprised if this is in fact manipulated to some extent by YouTube. Now, I don't want to go on and on about that, you know, for two reasons. One, I acknowledge that there is a, a good chance that I'm, I'm wrong and I just need to make a better video. The other reason is because I have no recourse. You know, if, if YouTube decides they don't like what I'm saying and just shut down my channel, there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm not really interested in creating a bunch of content, just bad mouthing YouTube. But I still think that it's kind of interesting w when you see this, you know, it's like, what? I, I got 3000 views in the first day. You know, I, I feel like this should be at 10, 20,000 views by now. And it's not. And that brings me to another point. You know, it really is up to us, people that are in crypto, that are bullish on internet computer. It's really up to us to get the word out. And it's not just about pumping our bags. It's about doing the job that's not being done. You know, you might not want to share my videos. And while that would suck for me, I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and lose sleep over it. You know, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'll just focus on trying to make better videos, but just find somebody that you do want to share their videos for or a Twitter, you know, or, or X post that you can retweet, you can reshare, get involved in the conversation, make posts on X, create your own YouTube channel, blog about it, podcast about it, you know, share it on your personal Facebook profile every once in a while. Don't alienate every every single person that you're friends with on Facebook by cramming internet computer down their throat because that's not going to help internet computer and it's not going to help your relationships. But just really the community in ICP needs to talk to people besides other people in the ICP community. So please just make sure that, you know, you, you share a video from time to time. You mention it on X, on Facebook, on Instagram somewhere. And I think we can all help to push internet computer to where I think it should be, which is like a top three, top five crypto with real use case being used today. You know, because a lot of these other cryptos, you know, some of them have some promise, some of them have some use case, but a lot of them, they, they just pale in comparison to internet computer. In fact, a lot of them pale in comparison to what they claim to be. So yeah, help us to help you by helping getting the word out about internet computer.